I recently got an email from a client that has worked with me in the past. She just got into a new partnered relationship, and, but she hasn't had penetration in quite a while. So how does she get her vagina ready for a penis after a long absence? After a hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to penetrate your own vagina on a regular mm -hmm. basis with an orgasm. See, mm -hmm. that's the difference because penetration, when we haven't done it in a while, penetration, when we're um, going through menopause or perimenopause, or maybe we've taken an antibiotic, I feel like anytime I take medication, mm -hmm. I feel like my vagina gets a little kind of like thinned out and dry. Mm -hmm. And what brings her back is pleasure. Yes. Yes. And pleasure starts with arousal. So again, vulva massage, vulva massage, vulva massage. <laughs> I can't say it enough, making that connection, getting aroused before you penetrate yourself is key. Maybe even taking an orgasm before you start to penetrate yourself, because then you know you're fully aroused. What happens with the orgasm, and you can see it if you're watching a woman build up to orgasm, the wave goes through the pelvic floor muscle and releases the tension mm -hmm. in the muscle. So if you're not used to penetration and you think it's going to hurt, you're tensing up, right? I, I'm, it's like resistance. So the way to deal with that is take an orgasm, push out all that tension, and then try to penetrate. And you know, you know as women, we always say, oh, it will only sting for a little bit. No. We only penetrate when it feels good and we only penetrate when we want it. And we want it when we've had enough arousal and we've played around at the hole, right? And maybe we've had a fantasy and there's a moment, Betty used to always say this, she would counsel men to play on the outside and get a woman yes. so aroused that she would pull them inside them. Right, right, right. And I mean, I've experienced that and you feel it. And for me, that usually happens after I have an orgasm. Um, and, and that's when I want penetrative sex. Another point is to use lube because I, I think that that's a, like, we feel like we have to be super wet. Like, that's like a highlight. It's kind of like the equivalent to the male erection right? That we want to generate like our own fluids. If you haven't pen been penetrated in a while, your body is not going to generate the same amount of fluid. I've read research somewhere, and I wish I could cite it, but that using lube helps your body create its own lubrication. It, it remembers at that point. But always, whether you're lubricated or not lubricated, like a good almond oil, a coconut oil, a good silicone lube or a hybrid lube, if you are using uh, condoms, because you're, you're not going to want to use oil if you're having partner sex with, mm -hmm. with condoms. So silicone is the key there. That's much more slippery than like a KY jelly or something or an Astroglide or something over the counter. Uh, Sliquid is a good brand um, to, to look into. But lube is key. So while you're going for arousal and giving yourself a vulva massage, make sure that you use lubrication. And you can put a little vitamin E in your oil. Mm -hmm. um, women postmenopausal have found that helpful. Take your vibrator and your hand and put it right at the opening. Yes. Because remember, those little glands that lubricate are on either side of the vaginal opening. Mm -hmm. Stimulate the outside mm -hmm. until the inside goes, ah, oh, I get what's happening. Right. <laughs> like, right. You're right. It's kind of like we salivate when we smell food. Yes. We yes. lubricate when we have dirty thoughts or we lubricate mm -hmm. when we play at the hole or right. we play with our clits. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit of time and practice. Mm -hmm. but it's the fun practice. It's, it's the fun practice. And think of it as your workout. You know, you need to masturbate on your own practice. And then when you're together with your partner, run the fuck. You really need to be in control of penetration. It's fine to say, I haven't had penetration in a while. I need to go slow. 
and of course is procreative sex. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's, I think why sometimes it's so arousing, right? It's that whole like, Oh, forbidden. And we could get pregnant. We could get an STI and it makes it so exciting. It's like Mm -hmm. Russian roulette. Right. right? But just remember penetration is for your pleasure. Right. 